front of the turbo lift. Should I really go drinking today? Ah, oh, whatever. Let's do it. Be careful. You can't stop an experiment in motion. What's that supposed to mean? It's something my mentor used to say. It means you should think deeply before taking any action. Well, now that you mention it, it might be a good idea to go easy on my liver. <laughs> he'd often give me advice, but he'd often disappear without any warning as well. He might not be the best person to listen to. He sounds like a great man. I don't know. Whoops. Can I ask what kind of work you usually do? I provide scientific and technical support, but I also do combat training. Oh, sorry for my quietness. I am after all. Got a, had a phone call. The highest of the high ranking. I just have a special job. That's all. Captain Kenny's the truly elite one. What? You're telling me that old per? Um, Captain Kenny is an elite person in your country? He may not look it, but the captain comes from one of the most highly respected families around. You don't say. A respected family. Eventually I'm going to have to go train somewhere. I can't, you know... Uh, I do gotta go grind somewhere. Uh, my levels and everything are just entirely too low for anything. How the hell am I gonna engine oh, bridge? the situation a fleet of four Kronos ships is currently on course for the Fakreed system at this rate they should make contact with us in fewer than seven hours four of them why would they think they need so many captain we're receiving a transmission from the Kronos fleet put them on screen greetings this is president Mutal of the central Kronos government the president? Huh? Wait, what? wait, why would their president what? be can't here? Be serious. It's my distinct pleasure to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Emerson T. Kenny, and I'm the captain of this humble pan galactic federation vessel, the Charles D. Gaulle. It's an honor to meet you, Captain Kenny. Oh, no, sir. I assure you, the honor's all mine. If you don't mind me asking, Mr. President, what is it that has brought you to this frontier? Let's get right down to business. Certain high-ranking officials in our military have terminated contact with us. Despite our numerous attempts, we still have not successfully reached them. You mean General Alma? Well then, I see you're already privy to some of the details. Let me be clear. We have no intention of renouncing the Charter and fiduciary no-fly zones. We ratified that treaty with the Pan-Galactic Federation and will continue to abide by its statutes. In contrast, General Alma is colluding with the Anti-Federation faction of the military to incite a coup d'etat, and eschewing the Charter is one part of their scheme. Well, sir, that's our understanding of it, too. How would Kronos ever have a future if we disregard it? It's impossible. We can't fight a civil war while simultaneously fighting one abroad with the Federation. What they are perpetrating is lunacy. On behalf of the Central Kronos government, I officially request the Pan-Galactic Federation's military support in this conflict. Without your cooperation, we cannot hope to prevent Alma's coup d'etat. I'll relay your request to our organization's commander with utmost haste, and I'll do my best to have a response for you by the time you reach the Fakreed system. I can't, however, make any promises. Your effort is much appreciated, Captain. Hopefully, the answer we receive is an affirmative one. Mutal, over and out.
I'll talk to the commander in my quarters. Delacroix, you're in charge while I'm gone. Yes, sir. You're going to trust someone who is your enemy up until now? Kronos isn't necessarily our enemy. It's General Alma and his faction that are. What if it turns out both groups are conspiring together? With technology this powerful and dangerous, you have to be careful. Misusing it could result in the deaths of hundreds of millions of people. Not only that, it could even destroy whole civilizations. And that's a reason not to go to war? Sounds like sophistry to me. When you become as advanced as we are, You'll realize you can't just start wars whenever you want, no matter who the enemy is. Are you saying we can't comprehend because our brains are as underdeveloped as our planet? That's not what I meant. <sighs> Sorry. Let's not continue this conversation. I respect your decision. Thank you. I go dip into the engine room by accident again. The Kronos fleet's about to enter normal space. We'll welcome them as we we would any diplomat. Put him on screen. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. President. We have yet to receive any transmission from Central Command. There's no need for you to apologize. These things often do take time. I appreciate it. Captain, there's an incoming transmission from Central Command. Put them on. Commander Dean. I'm pleased to report that the President has already arrived in our sector. I see. Ah, President Mutal. It's been quite some time. Yes, it certainly has, Commander Dean. Allow me to dispense with the formalities. The Federation Security Council just finished an emergency session, and I assume both you and Captain Kenny are anxiously awaiting the results. Please. Based on Captain Kenny's report, along with the logs from his ship, the Council's decision is thus. The Pangalactic Federation accepts the Central Kronos government's request for aid. As the representative body of the Pangalactic Federation, it is our top priority to ensure that peace is maintained. Thus, while we will indeed provide our resources to you, we recommend the utilization of non-violent methods with the opposition. We appreciate the help. However, there is no guarantee that General Alma's faction can be reasoned with peacefully. In such an event, we advocate the use of force to subdue them. As you wish. We shall endeavor to solve things peacefully, resorting to military action only if that proves fruitless. Furthermore, the Charles D. Gold is by far the closest Federation vessel to Kronos territory at this time. Not only that, but it also happens to be the fastest ship in our illustrious fleet. Therefore, Captain Kenny, I appoint you as the Federation's official ambassador. I'll do my utmost to serve fittingly in this new capacity. One more thing. I will dispatch reinforcements to your destination. It's unlikely, however, that they'll arrive in time. You're on your own in regards to cooperating with the Central Kronos government. Thanks for the warning, sir. I have nothing further, Mr. President. But is there anything you would like to add? I am deeply moved by the extent of your government's generosity. Very well. Then I shall take my leave. Captain Kenny, to the Federation proud. I'll send the mission details to your ship later. Please make sure you review them. Understood? 
Understood. Dean, over and out. There you go. I look forward to working with you, Mr. President. As do I. Now, sorry if this is a bit too forthright, but let me share what we know about the sector in which General Alma is currently hiding. You already know where he is? We haven't simply been twiddling our thumbs on the sideline this whole time, you know. There is a certain asteroid belt 300 light years from Kronos Station 4, and it is there that the rebel faction has clandestinely erected its hideout. Let me send you the data we have on it. If we know where they are, I say we start heading there this instant. Very well. We'll send a fleet of ships from the Kronos governmental forces in the meantime. They ought to be able to rendezvous with us once we enter opposition territory. Do you know how many ships there are in the rebel fleet? Mm, a dozen or so. But the real problem isn't their numbers, it's their firepower. They have all our most advanced battle cruisers at their disposal. Hmm. Sounds like we'll need to fight tooth and nail to win. Either way, our ship will follow dutifully behind you. May we come out of this on top, sir. Kenny, over and out. Engines to half power. Once we leave this trajectory, cruise at warp 14 to the coordinates the President sent. Yes, sir. Engines at half until we leave trajectory. Then cruise at warp 14 until destination. It'll be a while until we arrive. So do what you will in the meantime. 